ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Uh, Ryan Stone Allen and uh, from Michigan, Jackson, Michigan originally. And uh, my current situation in boxing is uh, I've just got unfair shakes. You know, all my uh, all my losses were split deci decision in um, other people's backyards. But you know, uh, uh, I'm just I'm still going. And I still believe, and in my career, I know I'm not an opponent. I've never been, and um, I just uh, I'm gonna keep going until I, I get a world title around my belt. To me, what an opponent is, you come in last minute for fights, and um, you obviously get a, um, a a decent paycheck, you know. But when uh, when I took the fights as uh, an opponent, I I did it looking at the long road, you know, knowing I can beat these guys and knowing that um, it'll pay me off in the long run. So being an opponent is, uh, you know, um, just on the bad end of boxing, man. You're getting treated unfairly. Um, the judges is in, in, in the opponent's pocket, you know, on the A side and, you know, which the B side, you know, people just look at it for the money aspect. I never looked at it as the, you know, for the money aspect. I wanted it for my career in the long run because I knew I wanted to be a world champion. Uh, I was 15 years old. Uh, we used to street box when I was a kid. And um, uh, I, I just grew to love it. So my, my love for boxing grew at 12 years old, but I didn't get to start boxing until I was 15 because where I grew up at, there was no boxing gyms. I moved down to Jacksonville, Florida, and my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I told her I just wanted to box, and that's where it all began. Well, I always knew I had natural um, athletic ability, and um, uh, just me when I first sparred. Um, when I first sparred, um, I definitely got the better hand of it, and the guy was uh, way older than me, man. He was he was grown. I was 15 years old, and uh, it, it, the love just grew from there. I knew I, I could do something with the sport, you know, despite of me growing up rough. That just played its part in, in um, making the fire and, and my heart more big in the ring. I came to Vegas in um, the beginning of the 2016. Uh, I was living in Mexico, Ensenada, Mexico, just chasing my dream. And um, I, I, I met an a, a old manager of mine, man. He brought me to Vegas and I sparred at uh, the Mayweather Boxing Club. And um, from there, from that point forward, I was back and forth from Fresno, California, and, and um, Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, one day, I just decided to stay. I got a place out here, and um, you know, that's that's. I just stayed because I knew this is where uh, the mecca of boxing was. Um, Coach Will, man, uh, met him about uh, three and a half uh, years ago, or yeah, three years ago, when I first got to Vegas. He was uh, the first coach I had, man, and. Uh, we clicked, and uh, we we just been together ever since, man. He's he's, he's helped me out uh, when when I was in trouble times, man. So it's it's bigger than boxing, man. He he's more he's more like my father, and uh, you know he he's done a lot of things for me that uh, I, I didn't expect, you know. And I was scared to ask him, and he helped me, you know, when I was homeless, I didn't have nowhere to stay, and he helped me get on my feet. So. Uh, I love my coach like my father. So, uh, my kid Ryan Allen, he's like my son. He's a real good fighter, man, you know what I'm saying? A couple of times, you know, we had bad decisions, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to keep continuing to move on. He's a future world champion, you know. Hope everybody take notice. Um, I want the people to know that uh, I am one of the best fighters on the planet. Uh, despite of, you know, despite of the numbers, um, I know I, I I am one of the best fighters. I've been in training camps with multiple world champions, and um, you know when you've been told time and time again by by certain uh, people in, in this game, you know, my world champion after world champion, um, you know you're special and you know you can make your mark in the sport. 